This feels very close. What's up, Chocolumpia Lessons tribe? It is Chocolumpia of Chocolumpia Lessons. I am coming to you from my car. Um, I am parked with the AC on, so you know, don't freak out about seatbelts. I will put my seatbelt on when I start driving, but I'm not driving, okay, I'm parked. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about something that I think is important and something that I keep forgetting to talk about because I don't know, there's a lot of other stuff to talk about, but also I think it's important to talk about the ability to go to a dealership and feel like you as a woman are able to buy a car by yourself. Now, I know my channel has mixed people who watch um, for whatever reason. Thank you for watching and subscribing and liking and you know commenting. I appreciate, appreciate you doing that. Um, so if this video is not for you, then that's okay. You can still watch and just enjoy. Hi. Um, and if it is something that you are interested in, please continue to watch because I will be talking about my experience purchasing the last two cars that I have um, by myself and what that's like as a woman and potentially doing it for the third time. I don't know. We'll see. Love how I had a hair underneath my eye the entire time. I think we're okay now. I think we're okay. Apologies, you know, it's it's impromptu. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know. Listen, I am not necessarily in the market for a new car because I love my current car. She's super cute. She's got the orange. She's sporty, you know. And I'm not going to talk about what um, make and model of car I have or the last two that I've purchased or the last one that I purchased um, because they're not sponsoring me. And if anyone wants to sponsor me, you know, like um, Maserati wouldn't probably do a YouTube channel sponsorship, but you know, just you never know, put it out there, G-Wagon. Um, if you want to sponsor me, Porsche, if you want, you know what I mean? Like I'm just putting it out there into the universe, manifesting, manifesting. Um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna say what makes and models I'm referring to because, wow, this is very close, you guys. But my arm is also cramping because I don't have a car tripod thing. It's fine, we'll get through this quick. Uh, but yeah, so basically I'm just saying, I'm not gonna say which make and model because um, one, privacy, but also two, you know, not sponsoring, non-sponsor, so non-spons, okay? All right. So real quick, <clears throat> let me just chat about my experience in the past. Now, again, I'm not in the market for a new car, but I have always loved cars. Growing up, you know, I've just been obsessed with cars and um, used to do like models and like little, little, the car, little paint, you know, you paint the car type thing. So I had Barbies and stuff, but I also had like little cars. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, but so looking at cars is always really fun for me. And um, I just kind of want to see if, if that's something that can be happening right now. If not, it's totally fine. I may or may not take you guys on that journey with me just because I don't want to be the weirdo that's like, I'm a YouTuber and I'm taking video of my experience car shopping. But also I might just record something so that you can see it. Um, I probably look like the biggest weirdo right now recording as I'm parked in this neighborhood in front of a house. It's cool. Okay, so yes, also in my past experience, so this car I got on my own and the last car I got on my own. And the first car that I got on my own, I really was in this crazy situation where I just, I was just, it was fuckery, okay? Just to be completely honest. And if you listen to my podcast, Chocolumbia Lessons, then you've heard me refer to it or about it. Um, I didn't have anything to put down. I didn't have a car to trade in. I basically went to a car dealership and was like, listen, this is my situation and I need to get a car. I have multiple jobs, so I have multiple in 
in streams i have multiple streams of income and the payments will be made you know so um you just gotta like check my credit and trust and like please like i was begging the universe but i was very professional you know like i went in i was very like i hate when people say faking the funk but i was i was pretty much faking the funk because i was like you know You know what I'm saying? And um, I ended up leaving with a car, no down payment, didn't trade anything in. My monthly payments were reasonable. And, you know, I had that car forever. And it was with me through so many moves. And uh, I just became so thankful for that car because it was basically a life changer and, and it was sent from the universe. And just, again, the ability to be able to do that on my own when people were like, well, you should go with a man, you know, or you should have like your dad go with you. You should have your boyfriend or whoever, what, whatever. And I was just like, <sighs> like all the other times, yes, that's how I've had to get cars. I've gone with a dude. And I feel like, women feel like they have to do that because that's just kind of how it's been. But I was like, well, here's the situation, y'all. I need a car and I'm going by my damn self. So this is how we're going to do it. It ended up going great. So after that experience, I felt really empowered and like I could do it again. And I did with this one. And that experience was great. Um, there is the pushiness, you know? I mean, listen, anytime you deal with someone who's in sales, you're gonna feel that. So you just have to be able to know what it is you want specifically. And you can't be pushed around and you can't take any shit from anybody. And that's just basically what I feel like I'm always trying to encourage on my Chalk Olympia Lessons podcast and on this YouTube channel. Stand your ground, right? There was a portion of the deal where the I don't even know what division he was working in, but he was trying to upsell me on a bunch of shit. And I was like, listen, I have a car right now. I will leave right now if you keep pushing, trying to get me to get this package. I don't want that. I don't want it. And I've said it multiple times, you know, and you don't have to get like rude, but I'm getting fired up talking about it because you have to be very stern. And people, a lot of times, when I say people, I'm talking about women and not all women, I'm saying, from what I've heard from my fellow women is that you have to be nice all the time. You know, I mean, just that's like, um, did you hear that? That was in my throat. That's, that's, that's my indigestion because it's like, ah, um, the patriarchy, you don't have to be nice, you know, don't be rude. Don't be a rude, guy, <laughs> but you can be stern and you can know what you want and you can go after that. And if it's not what you want, then you can walk away completely valid okay so if this video is what you needed to hear to amp you up for getting your own car by yourself without needing a man to go with you welcome to the show y'all we're here and we're gonna do it i'm not gonna show much but i am gonna show you just some of the things that i ask to look at when i'm doing these test drives i also always ask what car the salesman drives because i want to know if he reps the brand that's not that important, but it is something that I ask. Heated seats, just little things. But with this one, you actually get, remember the buttons right here? Yes. They're gone, now they're in here. Oh. That's nice. Do you want to hear it? Yes, please. Let's go. <laughs> Drop your favorite tune, come on, do it for me. Okay, so I'm going to test drive this bad boy and that's always fun because you can get a feel of what it actually feels like to drive it. It's nice to look at it, but it's also very nice to actually drive it. 
it's actually really cute in person and I didn't think that that was gonna happen because I looked at the pictures and I was like, eh. It doesn't have the cool stripes and stuff like mine, but we're gonna test drive it, it's fine. Two hours and many cars later. All right, listen up kids. Um, I have my seatbelt on and I am parked. Uh, and the AC is on because it's hot as balls. This is the worst angle, I apologize. <laughs> Actually, this kind of is a theme on this channel, you know, so <laughs> I don't know why y'all are surprised. Um, so just an update on the things that happened. I saw a few different cars. My salesperson was very nice, very helpful, very attentive. He paid attention to all the things that I said that I was looking for and wanted. Um, my price points, like, you know, and again, I wasn't in the market for getting a car today. I just kind of wanted to do this to see what that would look like and also to share it on my YouTube channel because now I think of life things that apply to content on this channel, Chocolumpia Lessons, right? So um, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit once I get home about what the actual numbers portion is like. Um, I think that's probably the most intimidating part for people, especially if you're a woman and you're going by yourself and you're feeling like you don't have backup, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but I will talk about that in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, okay, the most important thing is you have to have a clear idea of what you really are looking for, what you want, what price point you want to stay within, you know, um, I'm really big on not ever needing a cosigner. That's just my thing, you know, because I don't like, to me, that feels like owing someone something and I don't like that. I'm not into that shit, you know, I don't want anybody to be able to hold anything over my head because I've had experiences in the past where people have tried to hold that over my head and then it's like I owe somebody something and now, dude, fuck that, no, we're not owing people shit. So I don't do a cosign, it's all me, it's all my credit, it's all my income. And um, if I can avoid having to put anything down, then that's my goal, right? And then I just will trade in whatever car I have currently and then I will trade that in and have that be like the down payment. So you can totally do that. I've done that for the last two cars that I've gotten on my own. Never a cosigner, never a down payment, just traded a car in. And then the first car I ever did, I didn't even have anything to trade in. So I, you know, okay. So yes, it's possible. Okay, I'm back. So this last, or just, just now, right? Um, being in the room where you talk numbers um, and what's also helpful too is, and I know this isn't going to be the same for a lot of women, but I am very familiar with the talking numbers part and cars and the features and all of that. So that, like, I like to wrap that with the, the salesperson. And then once they know that you're hip to that lingo, then they don't really fuck with you. Truth, truth be told, I am actually, um, in line for in and out And I was thinking, should I do, should I just like make this a mukbang? and do like a mukbang for in and out and then talk about cars, then I was like, no, people probably aren't gonna wanna see that. But then actually it's probably a good idea, but um, the dude that was just helping was such a cutie pie, adorable or whatever, you're at their like office and you're talking numbers. And um, you know, the question's gonna come up, who can you get to do cosign? Um, do you have anything to put down? How much do you wanna pay, blah, 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 da, 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 you know? And you have to just be aware and ready with all of those, those stats in your head and just be firm, you know? And like I said before, you don't have to be a bitch. Like this last, this situation that just happened right now when I went to, um, to just check it out, everyone was very, very nice. and. That's great, and I love that. My first experience, again, very, very nice and super attentive and helpful and all of that. The second time, wow, Speed Racer, you're going way too fast. The second time, the experience was great. My salesperson was awesome, which is why I got the car. You know, I'm not gonna get a car from someone that I don't like. But the finance guy was, um, 
kind of a dick and he kept trying to push. What's weird is that um, I was very firm with him and knowing what I wanted to do and what I was willing to spend and he just kept, oh, I, I think I shared this already. See, I can't even remember, I'm tired. Really quick, this was my receipt from my In-N-Out purchase and I've never gotten 888 before, but it tripped me out when I looked it up. My point with that guy is that um, he kept trying to upgrade, right? And I wasn't having it. And so I came from the standpoint of, I can, like my car is fine. I don't need to leave here with a car. So I can just walk. And if you keep trying to push it, that's what's going to happen. And it ended up fine, you know? So, um, but you just have to be really firm and you have to hold your ground and just be a badass bitch and just know what you want. Otherwise they're gonna push you around. That's the case in anything though, I feel like. You know, if you are kind of wishy-washy, then um, yeah. So overall, it's have confidence, know what your price points are, don't let anybody push you around, which I feel like is something that I just always talk about on this channel and on my podcast anyway. Um, yeah. And you too can buy a car with no money down and um, without a co-signer. Of course, you know, if your credit's good, that's also a bonus. And if you are making income, that's also great. But, you know, I, I challenge you to want to try to get your own car by yourself without needing a man to go with you. Like, legit, real shit, you can do it. I believe in you, boo. Okay, I gotta go, because this whole setup thing is, like, weird and, um, yeah. Okay, bye! I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yay!